Of course it's not really Her Majesty who decides on these things, that's up to a team of civil servants, but you could almost see it as a fitting tribute from one queen to another. Olivia Colman, the actress who plays Elizabeth to win the forthcoming series of The Crown, is to receive a CBE and her birthday honors for services to drama. Characteristically for an actress who tends to appear embarrassed in the limelight, Coleman has asked that the award be presented to her under her real name, Sir Carolyn Sinclair, rather than her stage name. Coleman, who won an Oscar for Best Actress for her role as Queen Anne in this favorite earlier this year, said, I'm totally thrilled, delighted and humbled to be in the company of these incredible people, most of whom have been nowhere near as visible as I have, but should be, and hopefully now will be. It's such an honor. Norwich born Coleman, 45, came to prominence after playing Sophie in Channel 4's cult comedy series Peep Show, before starring in ITV's crime drama Broadchurch, BBC drama The Night Manager and films including Hot Fuzz, Tyrannosaur and The Iron Lady, where played Margaret Thatcher's daughter Carol, opposite Meryl Streep. She recently said that playing the real queen has been far harder than her role and a favorite, because everyone knows what she looks like, everyone knows what she sounds like, everyone has an opinion on whether the casting is right. Fellow actor Simon Russell Beale, 58, receives a knighthood for services to drama. The stage actor, described as one of the finest of his generation, said, It is a very great honor and I think my mother, were she alive would be very proud. Establishment honors might have been anathema to the musicians who came out of the punk rock explosion of the 1970s, but for decades on they are finding recognition at the palace. Elvis Costello, 64, whose songs, including Oliver's Army, I Don't Want to Go to Chelsea and Pump It Up, frequently aimed pointed barbs at British manners and institutions, is being awarded a nobie.